Jackie and welcome back to my channel. For today's tutorial, I have a series of Clary Frey from the Shadowhunters TV show hairstyles. I love Catherine McNamara's strawberry hair and all the gorgeous curls, braids, and buns on the show, so I picked out my favorites from season one that I'm recreating today. And if you're new to my channel and you love TV and movie recreations with makeup and hair, be sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell notification button so that you don't miss an upload. And Shadowhunters fans, I wanna know who your favorite character is in the series. Comment down below and last little update, I'm going to California for a little bit this summer, so I'm traveling again, and I'm currently packing with my eco bags that were gifted to me when I went to Iceland. I'm still loving the Pika backpack and duffel for all the storage features, so let me know what summer videos you'd like to see when I'm in sunny LA so I know what to pack. You can vote in the poll, that will really help me out. If you did miss my epic Iceland trip, I'm really proud of that video, I had an amazing time, and you can see all the features of my travel bags there as well, so I'll have it linked down below. So yay for traveling and new summer videos. In a couple uploads, I won't have this as my background, but they'll be super fun, cool videos of palm trees. And uh, yeah, let's get started with these Clary Frey hairstyles. First style is Clary's curls for season. The looseness of the curls do vary per episode, so I'm recreating this photo to start with, and then as we do the other styles, the curls will loosen up throughout the video. Starting with my natural hair, I'm switching over my part to be just off center, dividing my hair into two, and let's start curling the bottom half of the hair. Clary has looser curls through the bottom layer to help keep the length long, and I'm using the Bellamy tapered wand for this. I also use this in my rose from the Titanic curls. Section by section, curl away from the face. I will be using some temporary spray in color that I know will weigh the curl down a little bit, so let the curl cool in your hand and scrunch it to help keep the spiral shape. Now my main trick with lightening up my hair in videos is to bring in a lighter extension, and I'll spray the extension with more of a strawberry toned shade, and this will really show up against the blonde. And then mix with my hair, once we've also sprayed in the L'Oreal Colorista, it'll brighten up the whole look. So it's not a perfect match for color as her hair does have more of a yellow-orange vibrant base to it, and I'm not about to color my hair for real, but it is really fun to bring in some color. Clary does have some volume around her part, so add a bit of teasing if you want to make sure that the hair doesn't fall too flat by adding a volume spray or cloud mist, and then back comb in a couple of sections. And for the top layer, we are going to go in with smaller sections and create the curl a little bit higher up and then pin curl in place. Kat's character's hair is cut into layers, so the curls up top are tighter and surround her face a little bit more, but since my hair has grown out to be pretty much one length, this is how we're going to get a similar style. Let it cool for a couple minutes if you have time. And by the way, the hairspray I'm using throughout this tutorial is one of my favorites. It's the Marc Anthony Hydrating Coconut Oil and Shea Butter Volume Hairspray. It dries really fast and it adds extra hold, volume, and shine to the hair. Brush the very top of the curls to group that first wave together to give a polished look. And here I'm adding the Colorista Spray. I do want to mention that the shade will look different on each hair type. I've really upped my saturation to bring out the orange in my hair as it is, so I'm showing more how to get the styles, the actual hair color I've enhanced with my computer, so the video just felt more authentic to watch like Clary. Typically, her hair is styled in a really simple half-up style, sometimes accented with small braids. I actually love how they tie off this style on her. It looks like two tiny black twist ties, but to get a similar look with minimal effort, all you'll need is two tiny butterfly clips. Leave out two front pieces of hair, ideally the shorter curls, and brush back a top section from the hairline. Twist lightly inwards once you get to the back of your head, and before you clip, hold the hair in place and then readjust the hair so that it falls downward more and has a bit more volume. Repeat on the other side so you end up with two light twists and butterfly clips right next to each other. This is so much easier than a little elastic in the hair, it's way easier to take out as well, so this is a styling tip that I never really thought to do, but will for sure be using again. I added one of the front sections loosely back with a bobby pin for added movement, and I think this is so clary and gives everyday curls just a bit more detail.
And this time I'm wearing my all time favorite faux leather jacket from the brand Black Swan. I was obsessed with this fun hairstyle Clary wore with a mesh cobalt sweater. I thought the whole look was a standout for season one. As always for Clary looks, leave out some front sections. And this time we're gonna create that same half up style but we're gonna tie off with an elastic. Next, take that pony, lift the base upwards and then wedge the hair under that elastic. It's like you're doing a butterfly effect with a pony, except we're not pulling the hair through. Instead, take bobby pins and keep the hair secured as is. With the remaining hair not in that half pony that now looks like a little bit of a waterfall, start to twist it together starting from the side of your neck bringing in the top pony. And now twist into a loose ballerina bun pulling the ends of the bun under that top pony we created. This seems complicated when I say it out loud, but it's super fast and cute and you get this double bun effect. I left the curled ends peeking out from one side and secured with a couple of bobby pins. Shortening up the front pieces and here's my new favorite bun to wear inspired by Clary. Still keeping with the simple styles, here's a very easy pony and then we'll wrap it up with a party hairstyle. I initially was going to cut out this hairstyle because it is so simple, but then I thought about it and generally when I put my hair up in a pony, I just flip my hair upside down, tie it up really high so this is a cool way to switch it up. Leave some pieces out front and keep your slightly off center part. Start by gathering half the hair back in your hands and add in the bottom layer. We want this in a mid pony, not too low, not too high. And before tying off, adjust the hair so it's flowing into the pony and doesn't look too tight. To really make it like her character, find an elastic just like your hair color. This is easy for blondes, brunettes, black hair, but it's a little trickier to find for redheads or auburn shade hair. So I did find one at my drugstore, so they are around, you just gotta search a little bit. And pin up the left out layer for face framing pieces. In some scenes, most of the hair is pulled back into a pony and only some pieces are left out around the ears and other times you have more loose curls so you can play with this. And the final look I chose from season 1 is the braided pullback. By the way, if you're still watching and want more Shadowhunters hairstyles, comment film part 2, any requests you have, and if this video is a hit, I can for sure do that. Leave out a larger section out front than from the last looks. And gather the hair back like in the looks before, but this time make sure all the hair flows into a slight twist and pin where the head meets the neck, so a little lower on the head than the first half updo. Now let's create two small braids. For the first small braid, don't braid too tightly, we want it to really softly sit in the hair and we don't want too much of the scalp to show, and then pin the braid slightly under the half up portion. One more braid on this side. I brought in a couple of French braided strands to help the braids sit better, but it won't make a huge difference if you do a normal braid, so that's up to you. Like in the other looks of course, leave out some face framing pieces and pin with a mini butterfly clip so you can see the braid flowing into the twisted section. You can do double braids on the other side, but my hair is quite a bit thinner on the section so I like to bulk it up by adding a fluffy, just slight twist and then I'm pinning this under that top section like we did on the first side and then creating one more normal accent braid to the back. It's fun to add in some L'Oreal Colorista spray to make the braids pop out a bit more. My can was almost empty here, so I did not do the best job, but it is a really cute style to try out. Lots of hairspray to liven up the curls, and I paired this with my favorite black dress and lots of layered necklaces.
I hope you'll try out some of these at Clary Frey inspired hairstyles and if you do please tag me on Instagram I love to see you guys switching up your style and I love to feature you so here are a couple of my favorite recreation photos and comment down below out of the hairstyles which one was your favorite and if you want to see a more character inspired hairstyles then just keep on watching this playlist I've done Lydia from Teen Wolf Cheryl Blossom if you like the red hair and then I also have done Effie Stoneham hairstyles recently so there's a bunch more on my channel so stay tuned and uh, yeah I'll see you in my next video